Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Smartsheet with Asana. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at smartsheet.com. Once we do that, we want to create ourselves maybe a test sheet or if you are familiar with Smartsheet, uh, you already have like a couple of, uh, a couple of work procedures created or a couple of sheets for your employees. But uh, just to show you how to make this integration, uh, I created this one, the test one. Now we want to go to Zapier.com. At Zapier.com, you also need to create an account. And as you can see, this is the dashboard of Zapier. And we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Once we are here, we click make a Zap. Uh, we name our Zap. Uh, we can go with Smartsheet uh, to Asana, like this. Right now, we have to create the trigger event. Uh, the trigger event will come from, uh, from Smartsheet. We hit that uh, Smartsheet, we pick uh, the Smartsheet, and now we have to choose an event. There are a couple of events that we can uh, choose from. It's updated row, new attachment, new comment, or new row. Let's go with updated row as a trigger event for our Asana project or for our Asana integration. Now we have to choose an account. Uh, with the choose an account, we uh, want to hit the dead one that we created uh, that we created uh, today, like a couple of moments ago. And we want to uh, hit continue and as we are setting up this trigger uh, we want to choose a sheet so if you remember we are going to choose this one called text test you can pick from a couple of them actually if you created uh, more of them hit next continue and now you can test the trigger but it's not mandatory uh, Right now, we want to go to second action. The second action uh, will be actually coming from Asana. As you can see it's already here or we can use the search engine, but let's go with Asana, choose an event. So what will uh, it, uh, the update draw happens in Smartsheet, it will affect all of these stuff in Asana. So let's say you update it, and it will create a project or create a task. Let's create a project. We hit continue. And the last thing you need to do is just to connect to Asana. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.